Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk about Project North and True North. And I'm going to show you two examples of uh, how to adjust the Project North. Okay, so let's start. So um, because I don't have a survey drawing, so I just draw this uh, cat, cat uh, and pretend this is a survey drawing uh, as our title boundary. Okay, so and also this is a true north. So now go to pro uh, Revit. Let's create a project. So first, the first example is so uh, we just uh, received a survey drawing, and we need to link this survey drawing into a pro into a project and start to model our project. Okay, so so first we need to go insert. And a link can okay. always use link. Don't use import. Okay, so link and go select this server join. And uh, most most of the time you don't need to change this. So click on open. So now you will see this is the survey join. Okay, so you can you can then create property lines. Just pick these. And finish. So now you have you will have this uh, title property lines. You can tag them. Okay. So and also you will see uh, all these um, bearings are between zero and ninety. So you can change the setting of this angle display. So it becomes the uh, angle between 0 to 360. Okay, so the next step is you need to find a, 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 a line or a boundary or existing wall or, and then decide where your project north is. So in this, situation, uh, in this case, I probably want my building to be this. So for example, like this. Okay, so which means I want to use this boundary to uh, define my project north. So, so go to so let me just delete this detail line. So go to manage and position rotate project north align and pick this line and click OK and then that's it. So your project north is now there, top of the page, and the two notes are there. And also you will notice that um, all these bearings are still the same. So if I control Z, you will see previous dates uh, 69. After I rotate project north, nothing changes. Okay, so which is good. So if I change that back, back to true north, correct, true north, project north. Good. So that's it. Now we can start to model. So we can draw walls, right? Okay. So this is the first example. And let's just close this and let's create a new project. So now this uh, let's this is a, a second example. So the second example is uh, I've already finished my floor plan. So for example, this is my floor plan. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I have modeled my little project here. And then I received uh, a title title uh, document or a survey drawing. And I wanted to place my this little project project onto this site. Okay, so now let's do it. So go to um, same, go to insert and the link CAD and join. Okay, so now you will see uh, this is survey, this is a project, they are not matching. Of course, you don't want to rotate your project or move, even move your project. So, what you should do is you should um, try to rotate the, the true north. So your project can be placed into this survey drawing. So um, 
so first you just let's do this so first you need to find two um, you would need sorry you need to do a dimension to an uh, angular dimension so from the edge from one of the maybe lines in this survey drawing to um, one of the maybe walls which um, you want to align them so for example you want to align this wall to this title boundary so you just do a dimension from here to here so now you will get um, this angle and then what you need to do is go to change this orientation to true north okay and then go to position and rotate true north so now you click anywhere and go that way 21.46 okay and then you will see that now the, the direction the orientation of this wall um, is matching the the original the previous previous um, survey drawing because this survey drawing is being rotated as well when, when you uh, rotate two nodes so you just need to go in uh, manage link just remove it and link it again so now you will see your survey drawings matching the project okay so now you can un unpin your survey drawing move to um, the, the correct uh, position and then ping it again and that's it so now if you so true north correct right true north and if I change it to project north it become project north that's it um, and also there's another way okay so similar very similar so um, let me just uh, go back uh, which one import this one okay so now we we are uh, sorry we need to link that survey join again okay okay so the same thing I'll just do a dimension again so from this title boundary to this wall okay so that's 21.46 so you can also do this so in a floor plan uh, there's no there's no uh, project base point in floor plan we just need to vv to turn it turn it on okay so now select this uh, project base point go to angle to true north um, type in I, I think should be negative 21.46 okay and then looks like nothing happens but if we change that to true north and now we just need to so you will see this now this one is parallel to the original survey drawing so we just need to do the same we go to manage, manage link uh, here and remove add and okay open okay so now that's it exactly the same so one one is um, you go to position to rotate true, true north the other one is just talking a difference between so this angle is difference between true north and project north um, that's it for today um, if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time thank you bye